So it all boils down to this, folks. It all boils down to this. One win and you could be into the illustrious, all-important Europa Conference League group stages. We're going to take a look at the second legs and they're going to come at you next. Right, folks, back again another prediction video today. We're forward to the uh, UEFA Europa Conference League playoffs second legs, and we'll get to that in just a second. If you're new, where you've been, smash your subscribe button, bang it today. All things Rovers related, Conference League related, World Cup related later this year. That's right, of course. Small matters, uh, of course, overturning some first leg scores, but can it be done this coming midweek? We'll take a look at it, all of it in a minute. Of course, big shout out to the VIPs, they are the patrons, of course. You know who you are. And of course, before we jump into it, a bit of an admin break here. We are uh, going to take a look at this. All right, then, folks. Now, before we get to the deep end, I'm going to go for this. So I'm going to put this out there. I decided that uh, I'm going to try and get this channel recognised in some way, shape, or form. I've never gone for this before. I'm not here to win the pissing thing. I would just love for this channel to get recognised uh, for all the hard work that it's been through over the past five. 10 years, should I say? Can I even say 10 years? It's been about 10 years since this channel been there. But I've never really pushed this out there, but I would love to see this channel get rewarded uh, with a bit of recognition uh, over in the UK and beyond. So if you could do me a favour, it doesn't cost you an absolute... It doesn't cost you anything. It's free. And of course, it will be a forever warranted in my heart and the channel's heart as well. So cut the four slash vote rover seas. I am looking at best in video for the organisation now. We are, of course, uh, a team of, of, of individuals and everyone's chipping in for free. Uh, best content creator as well, if you could stick my name in there. Blackburn Overseas for best content creator. Uh, probably a too small to compete there, but just to get recognised, guys. And then, of course, best... Uh, what else do we have? Best in video. That's right. So best in video organisation, best club content creator, football league, and, of course, best content creator, Blackburn Overseas. Please do that. If we can get into the final 10 and get a bit of recognition, then that will put a smile on my face. And if we can actually make the, the list of five uh, then I'm, I'm going to reward the troops here uh, in the UK uh, with tickets to go and represent the channel uh, and beyond. So please, please do this. Uh, but anyway, we are now going to jump into the deep end, of course, and have a little look. And of course, uh, how we all got on uh, last time around. Where are we? Let's get rid of that. Let's get into that then. So again, it is on the screen here. Vote. And of course, it's on there if you if you want a, a bit a bit more detail. So let's get rid of it and let's get over here and jump in the deep end then, shall we? We are talking about Europa League. And of course, make sure you subscribe if you do. If you want to stop shop for Europa League content, it is right here. Uh, and see what we cover. We cover Rovers. We cover Europa League. No one was here at the preliminaries. Everyone's starting to jump on board now. Now, but we were here. We were here from the get-go when the San Marinos were here. We were here when the Liechtensteinians were here. We've been here there. So give us some recognition, please, uh, as we continue a very, very important year right here. Right now. So these were the games in the first legs. Of course, it's all to do with the second leg. So let's get, jump in the deep end. My pick's on the left-hand side. The real deal was on the right. See how I got on, uh, of course. And then we'll see where we are uh, moving forward. So Köln, uh, they lost to Fenerbahar 2-1 in the end. I went with a 2-1 win for Köln. Shocker Bruni there. Slovakia with a big 3-1 over AIK Salina. Uh, I went with a draw there. Fiorentina did beat 20-2-1. I went with a 3-1. AZ Amar smash uh, Gil Fecente there from Portugal. 4-0 in the end. I went with a 2-0 win. Uh, looks like my predictions are a little bit off. Uh, young Boys Burn, of course, lost to Ondelesh. I went with a 2-1 win myself. Cracovia and Belshava duped out to a 1-1 draw. Uh, CSK Sofia. Uh, they beat Basel 1-0. One with the 2-1 win the other way. Douche Gardens did beat Aponekasia 3-0. Outside of Sweden and, and Cyprus. 2-0 was my pick. Verduz and uh, Rapid Vienna with a 1-1 one, one draw. i got fucking hair on my nose here, boys. i got bloody hair. It's playing tickle me. Tickle my bloody nose. Uh, so we got Verduz 1, uh, Rapid Vienna 1. Uh, Stoy Bucharest and Viking was a 2-1 with a Viking surprise surprise. Istanbul Bashakir also drew with Antwerp at home. Balkan I picked up an away day win over Shupki. Uh, Lesh Prozner with a big win over Doudelange. 2-0 win in the end. Uh, we had Nice uh, who... Uh, uh, lost uh, to Maccabi Tel Aviv. Surprise, surprise. I won with the 2 0 when it was a 1 0 win the other way. Uh, Mulder uh, did uh, lose to Wolfsburg of Austria there. Of course, Madame Ball with a 0 0 draw gets Cluj. Uh, Partizan Belgrade with a big 4 1 win uh, over Spartans. A uh, comfortable win there. Krakow with a big 2 1 win over Sprague. Spotslavia Prague. They are unbeatable at home these days. Uh, Rigas of Fitola Skola against Lipfield was a 2 2 draw. Villarreal with a 40 win over Split. And West Ham with a 3 1 win over Viborg. I won with a 3 0 win as well. And then Wrap it up, wrap it up. But soon game will start against Slovak Bratislava was a 1 0 win. So uh, that's that. Of course, be sure to give it some love. And of course, smash or subscribe. And of course, vote, vote, vote. You know what to do. You know what to do about the votage. Uh, and
and of course where are we actually uh, we are we are there um so and don't forget of course to do do me a favor and vote here i'm just i'm, I'm plugging it. i'm gonna plug it hard i am sorry but this channel does need some recognition and again i'm not trying to trying to win any awards i just want to get these guys noticed get a bit of attention to the channel and keep blackburn rovers relevant uh so let's move forward then to, of course to the all important second legs i've got my prediction on the right hand side and then the aggregate scoreline combined on the left hand side which will show the teams basically who will go through to the group stage they will be joined by teams who have collapsed out of the europa league uh, and other people that have been wait other teams have been waiting in the wings to join so we will of course next week uh, have reaction to maybe the draws or or, or 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 i will start banging out the uh, the group my group predictions my early door group predictions for europa conference league so that's coming up on the channel we are non-stop here and that's why again we could do with a bit of recognition by going right here so make it all happen make it happen guys aik uh, selena up against slovakia of course coming at you on thursday august 25th these games are spread between the 23rd of august and the 25th uh, of course these two sides that pleasure they're just the one time 50 percent form for aik uh, of course one two lost two and drawn two over the last six slovakia though 58 percent form unbeaten in the last four games of course the, the previous fixture in slovakia was a three nil win for slovakia and of course they're fancying the chances to make that uh, into those group stages as well uh, both sides are in action of course coming at you on the 21st of august which will be tomorrow or today whenever this video goes out and uh, they are both expected uh, in fact while well, slovakia are expected to win the game aik are expected to lose i guess north copying the odds for this one we have uh we have 65 is your aik 11 5 is your 12 to 5 is your is, uh, is your draw here 11 5 is your way win i'm back in of course a slovak aik to win at home here but is it enough we'll have to see uh, later on aponikasia up against douche gardens coming at you out of uh, sweden as well so cyprus against sweden here uh, this game is actually on tuesday the 23rd of august and they play each other just the one time 58 percent form for aponikasia just one defeat past six i guess the douche garden size unbeaten in the last 14 games goodness gracious me appel though haven't lost any of the last nine of course it was a big 3-0 win for Douche Gardens on the first leg. Uh, so they fancy the chances on this one as well. Uh, but over in uh, Cyprus, it could be a different beast. Uh, Cyprus yet to get the season up and running. They'll wait till my birthday, 20th of August, to get that bad boy running. And of course, Douche Gardens are expected to beat Varbergs uh, today. Uh, the odds on this one there, 30-10 is your Nicosia. 2-1 is your away win. And 12-5 is your draw. Again, back in the home side here, but is it enough? Of course, if you're quick at maths, you probably figure out it probably isn't. CFR Cluj up against Madabor. Over in Romania, uh, of course. Let's take a look at this one. The police are just the one time. Cluj, though, just one defeat. The past six, six, seven percent form. Up against the Madibor side, who haven't won in the last seven games. Eight percent form over the last six. Picking up just the one draw. And that draw was against Cluj in Madibor this past midweek. Uh, Madibor are in action against Cligi over in the domestic top flight there. That's, of course, on Sunday. Cluj uh, waiting to get this game out of the way before returning to domestic cup action. Or domestic league action in their respective countries. Of course, 11 8 on is your clues. 11 4 is your 4 1 is your away win here. Back in clues here with a 2 win for them. And again, uh, that should be enough if you're quick on maths like me to get through to the next stage. Next up, we have Dudelange up against Les Prosnan. I've got to find this bad boy. Uh, of course, Luxembourg's Dudelange up against Les Prosnan from coming out of Poland. Play each other just the one time. We'll talk about it in a minute. Dudelange, though, just one feet past four. Uh, 42% for the last six. Meanwhile, Les Prosnan also 42% for over the last six. Just one defeat to pass four for them moving forward. That was a 2 win. The reverse in Poland back in uh, the 18th of August and of course Poznan are not in action uh, until after completion of this game against Dudelange. Dudelange though are in action against Hostet in the domestic top flight over in Luxembourg. That's right. The odds on this one there shall we have 70 to 4 your host 14 to 5 is your draw 20 to 13 on is your Poznan uh, who of course expected to win this on the road. 2-1 win for them. Again take it to the mix. So next of course we have Basel. They are locking horns against CSK Sofia. That's right. Basel from Switzerland. Sofia coming out of Bulgaria. Uh, Pleasure the four times to 2-9. Two wins apiece and zero draws. Basel though just one defeat sorry one win of the last six games 33 percent form up against the csk severe side who've just lost one to the last six 83 percent form for them moving forward of course the biggest win for severe over basel's the 3-1 win the biggest win in the way a 3-1 win uh in fact Sofia scored five goals compared to basel six over the course of those four matches works out around 1.25 goals again compared to 1.5 goals again for basel last time pleasure though in basel over in the switzerland was a 3-1 win for Sofia. wow wow we wow indeed that was back in october 2020 in the europa league qualification round round four uh of course Basel are in action this week in the Swedish uh, Swiss Cup uh, round of 64 against Ashvili. Uh, uh, meanwhile, CSK Sofia are waiting unless they played last night uh, and they're going to be taking on Basel in their next match. The odds for this one, though, we have 2 to 1 on is your, your host, 10 to 3 is your 11 2 is your way win here. Back in uh, Basel here with a 2 to win for them. Please, bloody vote, 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 vote for Overseas, your best video, best uh, 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 content creator, best club content creator, Blackburn Overseas. I'm just whacking that in there. Meanwhile, kicking off what is 20 against Fury 
is probably the game of the round here, guys. Uh, 20 from, uh, of course, the uh, Eredivisie. I guess Fiorentina from Serie A. Uh, and Skelly, of course, coming into just one defeat past six. Up against the Fiorentina side, back to back wins for them. Six, seven, seven form over the last six. Of course, it was a 2 1 win for Fiorentina in Italy back in 18th of August. And of course, Fiorentina are in action against Empoli this, this weekend with 20 uh, uh, either kicking off already, right here, right now, or uh, they're not playing until the return of this game. I do believe they're playing. I, I, I'm, I'm imagining over in the Dutch they are kicking the ball about right here, right now. But anyway, the odds for this one then, shall we? We have 20, 70, December, the victory, 20, 20, is your away win, and 5 to 2 is your draw. Now, this is for this leg and this leg alone. I'm actually going with a 20 2 0 win. Uh, and that might actually put uh, uh, the cat amongst the pigeons as we see who will go through to the next round, which is, of course, the all-important group stages. Fenshvar up against uh, Kuhn, of course. Let's get into this one. A tricky one. Of course, Kuhn got it all to do in the second leg. If I can bloody find it. It's a needle in the bloody haystack. It should be much easier. There it is. Of course, coming at you from Hungary, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Played each other uh, just the one time. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Just one defeat the past five, four. Fenshvar, 67% form. Okay, so Kuhn's side just one win. The last four, 58% form for them moving forward. It was a 2-1 win in Germany last time around, so they got it all to do this time around. Of course, uh, Kuhn are, are, they are in action in the Bundesliga. I can I can, I can can pretty much guarantee that bad boy. Uh, they are against Frankfurt, correct. There they are. Um, you know, I don't know if they're playing, but of course, they are uh, a favoured to lose this game. Uh, of course, over in their home country, 10-1 for the victory, 3-1 is your away win, and 50-4 is your draw. Will it be enough, though? Uh, if I've got Kuhn to win here, and I think with a 2-1 win, that might just be enough for them to squeak by there. Meanwhile, one team is pretty much guaranteed to go through it is uh it is um matey boys az outmark coming out of the edge of it visit i guess jill for coming out of portugal and if i can find these bad boys um where are you then? Where are you? There they are, of course, down the foot of the, the table there. Uh, of course, AZ with a 4 0 lead in the first leg. Played each other just the one time. Back to back defeats, though, for Vincente. 50% form over the last six. That's 1 2 lost and drawn two over the last six. Meanwhile, AZ out of 1 4 in the spin. 83% form for them moving forward. It was a 4 0 win in the Dutchlands. And of course, AZ uh, will be in action, uh, I'm sure, over in the Edoze as well. Vincente up against Famalaco in the Portuguese top flight, where they're expected to win as well. Meanwhile, looking at the odds on this badger, then, shall we? What have we got going on? We have Vincente 21 to 10 for the reach. 52 short, 65 is your way win. That's of course, uh, AZ, their expected win uh, with the bookies. I'm going with a draw, which of course will be enough with that heavy first leg win. Hadrick split uh, up against, who are you? Who are you? It is Villarreal, zinger zinger, that one as well. Uh, trying to find that one in my lineup. There it is, of course. Big scoreline was six goal thriller previously, going in favour of uh, the Spanish outfit. But had you expect they've lost three on the bats, 50% form over the last six. Meanwhile, Villarreal are unbeaten in the last 11 games, 92% form for them moving forward. It was a 4 2 win over in Spain last time around. And of course, split are in action against Lotto Motiva in the top flight there, with uh, Villarreal taking off Atletico, of course, coming at you on Sunday night. Uh, the odds for this badger, then, shall we? What do we got going on here? We've got but, uh, split 5 to 1 for the 20 to 11 on each of it around 3 to 1 is your draw again this is the odds for this leg of this leg, leg alone. I'm going for a split victory here but unfortunately I don't think it's going to be enough for them to go through to the group stages meanwhile Hamrod Spartans uh, they are in the mixer here up against Partizan Belgrade and again heavy one legged affair so far played each other just one time we'll talk about it in a minute Spartans though just one win in three 6 percent form for them up against Partizan Belgrade side of 50% uh, form for them unbeaten in the last three games 1-2 two, lost 2 and draw 2 over the last 6 it was a 4-1 win last time round for Partizan Belgrade in Partizan uh, and of course uh, they are in action. Uh, well, then no one's in. No one appears to be in action this coming weekend, unless unless they've already played right now. But I, I doubt it. Considering they played on Thursday, I doubt they would have played Saturday early in the morning. Anyway, uh, but of course the odds for this one uh, we got coming at your Spartans. Of course, seventy to four for the Richie thirteen eight on Isha Partisan. They are red hot favourites fourteen to five. Isha draw back in. Of course, Partisan here two to win for them on the road to add to the tally they've already got in the bag. Hepapur Shava. Uh, they are going to be coming at you. Up against uh, Krakowia, of course, coming out of Romania. Played each other just the one time. Uh, Bershava, though, unbeaten in, in the course of the last six games. 92% uh, form for them. Up against uh, uh, Universal Krakowia, uh, who unbeaten the last four. 58% form for them moving forward. It was a draw last round. 1-1 one, one over in uh, Romania. And, of course, this time around it is in Israel. Uh, of course, the Israelis are favoured to win this game. If I can find it, I just spotted it. Uh, it's 5-4 to four on the 32 7 2 is your wave. And 5-2 to two is your draw here. I'm back, of course, uh, Hapa Bershava with a big 2-0 win for them. And, again, with the draw in the first leg, that's probably enough for them to go through as well. Uh, we've got Balkani then uh, up against Shubki in a bit of a, a game that could go either way. 
Uh, and again, it's very, very hard to find that little badger in this list. Uh, of course, 2 1 it was in the first leg to, to Balkanai. Uh, of course, they played each other two times already, and they won twice uh, out of two. 75% uh, for Balkanai right now. I'm beating the last five uh, up against the Shipki side. Just one win in the last six for them. Uh, of course, the, the reverse leg was a 2 1 win. That was in uh, Shipki. So, of course, Balkanai will have home advantage uh, moving forward onto this one. You have the odds on this then. We have even Stevens for the Balkanai. 11 to 4 is your draw. 13 to 5 is your way win. Let's go Shuki here. Gonna go with the 2 0 with the Bacani. They've already got the upper hand. They'll be through comfortably. Don't you question it. Meanwhile, Linfield up against the Rigas. Of course, Linfield are in the mixer here. Of course, this would be fantastic stuff for Northern Irish football. That's right. Played each other just one time. 40% uh, for Linfield right now. Just one win of the past five games. Up against the Rigas side. Just one defeat past six. 6% for them moving forward. Of course, it was a 2 2 draw over in Rigas last time around. But of course, this time around, it will be in Northern Ireland. Linfield are taking on Newry City this coming weekend. We have Rigas taking on Valmira in the domestic top flight there of course coming at you on the odds for this one Linfield 2-1 for the victory 20 20 is your way win and 11-5 for your draw big opportunity here for Linfield I'm going to give it to them as well 2-1 win for them at home to take to the house next of course we have a bit of a team a big team in, in a bit of trouble here it's Nice which is a bit of a nice are losing to uh, Maccabi Tel Aviv out of Israel I'm pretty sure they're just the one time we'll talk about it shortly Nice though just 1-6 uh, 42% form for them up against the Tel Aviv side uh, 58% form just one defeat past 5 for them moving forward it was a 1-0 win in Tel Aviv in Israel and of course Nice aren't actually against Clement Foot this weekend where they're expecting to win. Maccabi Tel Aviv will kick off uh, the, the, the domestic top fight in Israel up against Maccabi Bene Reina, uh, of course, and again, I'm sure they're expected to win that game as well. They are one of the juggernauts in the Israeli top flight. The odds for this one then over in Nice. Uh, it is 5 to 2 on for the victory. 10 to 3 is draw. 50 to 2 is your away win here. Going to give it a 2 win for Nice again. That should be enough to turn it around, but of course, playing with fire a little bit is at Nice. Meanwhile, Rapid Vienna, uh, they're up against uh, Vaduz as well over in Austria. That's right. Played each other just the one time. Talk about it shortly. 50% form for Rapid Vienna. 1 2 lost to and drawn to over the last six. Uh, meanwhile, but as though 33% for them, just one win in the last six games for them moving forward. Of course, it was a draw in Badoz last time back on the 18th of August. And of course, Badoz are not in action. Rapid Vienna the same. It looks like they're going to be uh, putting their games on the back burner. Coming at you though, the odds 94 on is your Rapid Vienna. 72 is your 61 is your long shot. That is, of course, Badoz, Badoz, Badoz. Meanwhile, of course, don't forget about this. I am shoving it down your throat to deep and dark and hard. That's a bit cheeky, a bit, a bit saucy. But of course, please vote uh, for Cut the for Blackburn Overseas. Cut the floor slash rover seas. It is free. You can only do it once, and uh, there are ways around that. We can talk about that at another time. But best content creator, Blackburn Rover Seas. Best club content creator, Blackburn Rover Seas. And best in video organization, Blackburn Rover Seas. Any votes would be graciously appreciated, not just for me, but for the guys behind the scenes who are treading the boards, going the grounds, going the games, and providing the content. And wait enough. And if you were to vote now, and wait till you see what's going to happen in the World Cup, guys, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. And you could say that you were part of getting some recognition for the channel when the World Cup comes around because it's going to be absolutely mental uh, and I can't I kid you not I kid you not it's going to be absolutely crazy uh, anyway digitally digitally uh, love digital love for Qatar World, World Cup it's going to be absolutely fantastic meanwhile kicking off forward is Antwerp up against Istanbul Bashakir another zinger zinger of course Antwerp coming out of Belgium Bashakir coming out of Turkey pleasure just at one time 92% uh, form for Antwerp though right now uh, haven't lost in the last 12 games Bashakir though haven't lost in the last 15 games 83% form for them moving forward it was a draw in Turkey last time around of course the reverse fixture is in Belgium. Belgium, uh, I mean, sorry, Antwerp are not in action, according to my eyes. Bashakir will take on KS Boer over in the Superliga this coming Sunday, though. Of course, the odds for this one, we have 20 to 20 as your host, 12 to 5 as your draw, and we have 13 to 5 as your away. It's quite tight, tight on the odds. Antwerp are favourite to win this one. I'm going big. I'm going big on this one. Of course, the Turkish sides are decent, deadly when at home, and if you can come out of that with a draw or a small uh, deficit turnaround, you can fancy your chances, and Antwerp will fancy the chances on this one. Anderlecht, another Belgian side, up against Young Boys Burn, and another Belgian side who have the upper hand. And they should have just the one time, of course. Andalus picking up the W. Uh, Andalus winning five in the spin for them. 83% form. I guess the young boys Burnside just lost once in the last six. Uh, six times form for them moving forward. That one loss was that loss uh, uh, to uh, to Andalus in Switzerland. Of course, young boys Burn are not in action. They're going to wait. Uh, sorry, young boys Burn are in action. They're up against Schoenberg uh, in the round of 64 in the Swedish Cup. Uh, meanwhile, young uh, Andalus are not in action. Uh, they'll take on Union Galiz after this match, uh, of course, uh, next weekend. Coming at you, the odds for this we have uh, Andalus coming at you 65 with the reaching and four is your away. 23 10 is your choice. Give it a tall order, I think, for young boys going to turn this around. 2 1 win in the end. Andalash at home uh, cannot be uh, stopped. Slavia Prague up against Rakel Krushkova. This is, of course, a tight ass game. That's right. Coming at you over in Prague. Uh, these two sides have played each other just the one time. Uh, Slavia Prague uh, just one defeat past five for their 58% vote. Up against Krushkova. So just one defeat past six. 75% vote for them moving forward. Uh, of course, last time was a 2 1 win for Krushkova in Krushkova. And, of course, Krushkova are taking on nobody uh, this coming weekend. They're waiting. They're, they're, they're prepping themselves. Me, Slavia Prague are taking on Padavice in their top flight 
right over in the Czech Republic. Coming at you, the odds for this one, Prague, 7-4 for 13-2 on, is your record, Kr Krishkovia, and 30, uh, 60 to 5 uh, is your Prague here. I'm back in a nil-nil draw here, which of course will send Krishkovia through and Prague out, which of course will be a bit of a, a bit of a bit of a wallop in the bollocks. That one, be well, Slovan Bratislava taking on Zunkri Moscar. Let's take a look at this one then, shall we? If we can find it, there we go. Uh, again, all these games so far, just the one I think that's not on the Thursday. Pitch the first three times 2009, one win for Slovan Bratislava, two for Zunkri Moscar, zero draws, just one win in uh, three games for Slovan Bratislava, 58% form over the last six. Meanwhile, Zunkri Moscar convinces unbeaten in the last five, 75% form when they're moving forward. The biggest win for Bratislava over Morstar was a 4 0 win. The biggest win a 1 0 win. And Morstar scored just two goals compared to Bratislava's four. Works out about 0.67 goals for the visitors and 1.33 goals a game for the hosts. Last time, though, though, in Bratislava, it was a 4 0 win. In fact, the Oasis hasn't won this game. In fact, the Oasis hasn't scored a game in the last three matches. Meanwhile, Shrinsky and Morstar are not in action, but uh, some Bratislava are. They take on Zelina in the top flight in the domestic country there. And of course, the odds for this one, you would fancy the hosts on this one if we can find it. 13 8 on for the Richie, 14 5 short, 8 9 2. Is your win, and again for this leg and this leg alone, one no win in the end for Slavon Bratislava, but it could be more than that, considering when you look at those odds and look at those those stats there. Into the final three now we have Viborg. Uh, they're going to be taking on West Ham United. Uh, of course, Viborg got it all to do in the second leg, but they are hosts, of course, coming at you as well on Thursday, the twenty fifth of August. Pleasure just the one time. Six ten percent form for Viborg. At one two lost two over the last four. Six ten percent form over the last six. Uh, meanwhile, West Ham coming to just one win in six. Then they have been shit form in the in, the, in England, uh, but of course, picking up a win uh, against Viborg last time. 3-1 it was the reverse leg at the London Stadium of course West Ham are in action against Brighton this coming weekend Viborg going up in action against Randers of course Viborg expected to lose West Ham expected to win of course being at home the odds though for this one then we have Viborg 92 for the victory 22-11 on Asia West Ham 65 is sure it could be tight as well 2-0 though for me for West Ham adding to the to the tally that will go through to the, to the knockout style of the group stages and of course we'll have a nice extended run in the cup meanwhile Viking up against uh, Stoiberg Arrest uh, coming at you over in Norway uh, play sure that just the one time 58% Form for Viking, just one feet past five. Up against uh, Bucharest, I just one feet past six for them. Six times for them moving forward. Of course, biggest win or the only win was the 2 1 win last time around. That was in Bucharest back on the 18th of August. Bucharest are not in action. They are, of course, prepping themselves for this Viking game. Same can be said for the hosts. Um, as these two will lock horns on the 25th of August. The odds, though, for this one, 11 8, is your Viking 50 to 8, is your Bucharest and 12 5, is your draw. So the hosts are favoured here. I'm going with the 2 1 win for them, and I think it's going to be the end for Bucharest this this year's tournament. And then wrapping up, wrapping up is Wolfsburger. It is, of course, Mulder in another tight, tight match. Of course, Wolfsburger coming to this with the 1 0 advantage, uh, of course, which they picked up in Mulder. They come to this on 50% form, 1 2 lost and drawn 2 over uh, the last six games. Meanwhile, Mulder just back to back defeats them, 6 percent form for them moving forward as well. Last time around, it was a 1 0 win for Wolfsburger, and Wolfsburger are in action against probably Austria Vienna I think uh, meanwhile Mulder in action against Hagesund uh, both sides are expected to win those games this coming walk and ender uh, Wolfsburger 5-2 for the victory even Stevens is your Mulder 5-2 is your draw here boys and girls I'm going to go with the Wolfsburger 2 win for them at home and again let's do the maths here now who will go through when we of course combine the uh, first leg scores concrete uh, with my scores of course uh, with these picks so Salina are out uh, Slovakia go through Dish Gardens are there Closure with them Lesh Poznan Basel are there Twente we got Curran, we got Vincente, we got Villarreal, we got Partizan Belgrade, we got Papa Shava, Balkane there, Linfield go through, Nice as well, Rapid Vienna, uh, Royal Antwerp, Ongbelesht, uh, there, Raka Kushkovia, we got Slovan Bratislava on penalties, West Ham United comfortably through, Vibor, uh, Viking will join there, and Wolfsburger will complete the set, guys and girls. That, my friends, is just about it. And again, one more time, for the love of the order, for the good of the goodness, please vote for Blackburn Overseas and the, uh, the Football Creator Content Awards 2020. To. I am looking at best in video for the organization. I am looking for best content creator, Blackburn Overseas, and looking for best club content creator, Football League, Blackburn Overseas. Please do us your best, do us your hardest, do us your worst, and get us nominated at least. That would be absolutely fantastic as well. Uh, I hope we could do that. But anyway, oh, also be sure to subscribe if you know you want to stop shop for uh, uh, Europe Accomplice League stuff. We got it right here, boys and girls, under one Ruski. And that, my friends, is just about it. Be sure to give us some love. And of course, smash your thumbs up, smash your subscribe, check this down below, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and of course, Patreon. But until then, boys and girls, we're going to be done right now. And of course, next time you see me in this shape and form, we'll be bigging up, of course, the group stages. But until then, we're done.